Good morning, I'm the Mainly Digger and I'm so excited. Today's just gonna be a great day um, in general. We are in Georgetown, Maine, if you if you don't, I'm Mainly Digger, anyway. Um, yeah, we're in Maine, Georgetown, Maine, which is on the road to Reed State Park and we are going to do a little hike. It's just a two, easy, two mile easy hike. Um, it's supposed to have some gorgeous views. I, I've never done this hike before. Um, it's Morris Pond Reserve and it's, it's easy trails. There's no mountain climbing or anything like that. It's just easy trails. The only issue is it's in winter. So a couple warnings, if you ever go out in the winter time, always have, you know, keep your head warm. I have gloves. Um, it's about 30 degrees or maybe even higher than that, but the temperature can always drop. So you always have that extra protection water. Um, always have water. That's, I have a water bottle on me. Maybe I should have more. Who knows? Uh, good footwear, warm footwear. Um, but enough with that. Uh, it's just going to be a good time. I have my GoPro, so hopefully I'll get a couple scenic views with the GoPro. I'm still learning how to use it. So don't, you know, careful with that, you know, comment, but you know, I'm still learning. I'm, I'm still learning. Um, I'm just hoping I don't break it. You know, that's, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, right now I'm on my phone. This is my phone. Um, I'm just excited. Today's going to be a great day. Uh, typical day in Maine. Not too cold, a little chilly, but whatever. You get out. Uh, I'm lucky to have this part of the day off and be able to, be able to go out and uh, have fun. Make some videos. Mainly dig out. Uh, just a warning. Um, I'm going to preach about safety a lot in this video. I'm going to talk about it right now. I hit up a, a little bit before. Um, safety, especially in hiking, going out in the woods and nature. Nature is gorgeous, but nature can be a, it, it can be brutal sometimes, especially in Maine. Um, every year, some a hiker goes missing, or especially like along the Appalachian Trail, uh, someone goes missing because they don't know the area that well, or they, you know, they're not from the area. Uh, so what I always do, and I didn't do this time, is uh, look at the map at where I'm going. This was an opportunity. I saw it. I took it. Um, not the best idea to not not go. I knew the area. I knew about the area. I also have friends who are, are locals who've lived and hunted in this area their whole life. So uh, if I needed somebody, I could have called. But um, and I, I have looked at the map, but I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know the area as well as they do. Um, so before you go hiking, know the area. Even if, even if you've hiked it a hundred times, you know, just look it up. Make sure something hasn't changed. Uh, they have, some places have trail conditions posted. Uh, that's that I did look up the trail conditions, and um, because I didn't want to, you know, get out here and get stuck, or have my car, or not even be able to to go hiking because I my car didn't work, or car got trapped or whatever, or stuck in the snow. But yeah, just a uh, yeah, I go I harp on on safety a lot in this video, and tracking for whatever it is weird. I just went on a weird tracking trip, but it's fun. It's a fun video. It's a good hike, mainly to go out. Also forgot to mention, I do have my, my head rig set up for my GoPro and uh, some extra mounts so I can mount it on the tripod. I need to mount my phone on the tripod. Uh, it's a Youth Breeze tripod um, I, I recently found, or I don't know, I, I, I got a hold of a, a mount for both the phone and the GoPro, which works amazingly. Um, I'm excited. All right, I'll stop talking, mainly dig out. I don't know, it's just a gorgeous spot. Uh, something I enjoy. Uh, the rock formations. I love rock formations. And this is, as you can see, this is the trail. And uh, the, there's a blue spot behind me, so. The closer you get to the ocean, or like the shore, the more you'll see this type of rock formations, at least in Maine, I don't know, anywhere else. Um, this is gorgeous, I, I love it. I just love the rock formations. It's, it's Maine to me.
So random knowledge, uh, this is why I like going on hikes. It's besides it being gorgeous. Uh, when I was younger, I was really into tracking. My dad's a, a main guide or was a main guide. Um, so I got like, he had all these tracking books that I, I, I would read. Um, so, and through the military, I learned a little bit about tracking also, uh, not as much though. Uh, so here we had, they're my footprints, but what I'm showing you is that the V, how far apart they are. Um, in the wild, predators walk like this with a foot forward. Even dogs, when they, they stray back and forth, their feet are always forward. This means that they have, the person is, is overweight, they're supporting their belly, or they have weak hip flexors or weak knees or whatever, something's, this is not natural is what I'm saying. Um, or they're older. Uh, I mean, older people like have, have bigger bellies sometimes. So it's just one of those things. I, I love coming out, out in the woods and uh, trying to, you know, I've lost, if you don't use it, you lose it. And I've lost, I've lost a lot of it um, just from not being able to come out. I, like coming out reminds me of, of a certain, certain things, you know, it just brings me back to the days when I actually cared about tracking and stuff, mainly to get out. Here's a, a good example. Uh, I can't find the other one, but obviously this, whoever this is, is pointing out that way at like a, I mean, it's, kind of, it's still natural, but you can see it's they didn't slip. It's where they, they stepped. You can see the heel depth right there. That's where they stepped first. And then they went there and they continued on. Another great example. Uh, you can see that's kind of covered up, but that's the individual step also. Um, I mean, you can see it's off to an unnatural left and it uh i mean whoever it was was just strolling is what it was they're just walking along but that's cool probably walking their dog from what i've seen um from different things here which are not allowed to have pets not saying anything not judging i'm just uh you know from what i've seen all right i'll stop there. you can see this individual was was wearing more of a a tennis shoe or not a tennis shoe tennis shoe like uh, footwear and see how it's pointing forward and they're coming down and they're coming down real quickly You can tell by the the spread of their uh, their feet If you want to get into tracking or you want to learn more about tracking uh, The books I read as a younger child over 20 years ago uh, Tom Brown are written were written by Tom Brown jr. I can't think of their names right now, but he goes into detail and it's just, it's just for me as a child, it was fun to read that detail. He was taught by a Native American who, uh, who was pretty much like his father, but like, or a father figure. Um, yeah, Tom Brown Jr., amazing. They made a movie, not about him, but uh, I think it's called The Track or whatever with Tommy Lee Jones. Um, a good movie, uh, but it's loose, loosely based. So I, uh, I said earlier that I made a video, but the video wasn't, I couldn't find the video clip, but the trails are marked, are clearly marked. Any trails in Maine, if it's a known trail, is clearly marked, um, or if it's an official trail. This is marked white. It's a side trail. Uh, the I'll show you later when I go back. The original trail is marked blue, just like that, except blue. Uh, it's good to know so you don't feel lost or you don't get lost or you don't have that panic feeling of, oh man, where am I going? I'm just following a trail. Um, you can put headphones in and uh, just walk and not, not get lost, which is always a good thing. Or let your head, you know, wander. All right, mainly to get out. Like I mentioned earlier, this is blue marking the original trail that I was on and where we're going down back to uh, my vehicle. Um, well marked trail. This is an amazing, amazing trail. Gorgeous, gorgeous main day. I can't say enough. The weather is amazing. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, that's a blue mark. That tells you where you're going. It's a trail mark. I, uh, I always make my own marks. 
So, cause I, you know, someone might've just painted something blue, but I make my own marks. So I, uh, I don't get lost. Maybe I'm just paranoid. I need to get out. So I decided to head back. Uh, I have other things I want to do and uh, I don't have a lot of time. So this was a, just an easy walk for me. I, uh, through the, I do, I don't do the hard hikes anymore. I don't, my, uh, military career, my, has taken its toll. Civilian things I've done have taken its toll on my body. So I don't, I'm, I'm rehabilitating my, my body right now is, is the best way to explain it without going into detail. Uh, this is an easy hike. Um, two hours, maybe if you really like, if you're going slow, uh, multiple different people, no pets. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just a gorgeous hike. Uh, winter time's a, it's, it's not a bad time to do hiking. Just walking around. No one's out here. Obviously someone was out here later or earlier, uh, before the, or after the snow fell. But yeah, I just wanted to get out before it's supposed to snow again this weekend. Uh, it's supposed to snow a lot, so relatively for Maine. Um, it's just a gorgeous spot. This is, Maine's gorgeous regardless. So uh, I, hopefully I'll get some more video and I'll be able to put it in here. I don't know how this turned into a tracking video. I, like I, when I go out in the woods, I get my ADD get just, I bounce everywhere, which is a good thing. It, I mean, it allows me to think outside the box, maybe. I don't know. All right, I'll stop talking, mainly to get out, watch my other videos.